Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking another look at our team associated SC10. And this is, uh, you know, this is a little bit of an older truck, but uh, we're, we're prepping it to take to our local uh, track at NorCal Hobbies. So um, in this episode, we're going to be actually mounting the uh, the electronics. So uh, this brushless motor and speed control, this is a Leopard V2 with a uh, 4370 kV um, motor. Uh, you know, we, we actually got this as part of a, a Traxxas Slash. So, um, you know, we were debating on whether to throw in a, a Valenian system um, that we had laying around or this. And... Uh, just did a, a quick Google search uh, and um, found out that to get the Valenian to fit, you've actually got to trim the shaft, um, the the uh, output shaft on the motor here of the Valenian because it'll poke out or it's too long, or you have to drill a hole into the uh, the gearbox here. So uh, rather than go through that, um, just decided to throw in this this Leopard system and take it off the uh, the slash. So one thing about these, uh, the SE10s is that you're actually using standard hardware. Uh, most of these cars use metric now, so had to break out my, my trusty uh, MIP uh, drivers here, uh, standard and also, uh, you know, just a standard nut driver. So this 11 30 seconds um, nut driver for the, the uh, wheel nuts. So first, we're gonna have to take off that wheel nut. Um, you know, some of these SE10s will actually come with uh, they, they don't come with the hexes, right? So actually on the front, the, the front hasn't been upgraded to hexes. Uh, there's just a pin that goes through the axle that catches onto the wheel itself. So um, a little bit old fashioned there. Um, fortunately, uh, we've got the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, upgraded uh, clamping hexes on the back here. Um, so we can use any sort of standard 12 millimeter hex um, wheel appropriately with the appropriate offset for the uh um for the SE10 of course um just going to remove the uh the screws on the uh the gearbox here and um this car so this car's been sitting around in in our garage for quite some time had to dust it off First things first, getting the um, motor and speed control installed here. And this is actually uh, our first team associated vehicle. Never had one in the shop here. So that's a new one for us. Uh, it's nice, it's got a metal mounting plate. You know, coming from, from tracks of slashes, uh, there's, you know, there's just a lot of welcomed standard features, right? Uh, like a metal plate versus the plastic on the slash, um, you know, uh, yeah, just just uh, a, a lot more, um, how should I say, race ready. So let's ha see how we want to do this here. We might actually have to take off the shock because um, these uh, bullet connectors have been shrink wrapped together. So gonna go ahead and put in the engine first and just do an overall layout to see if this is gonna work for us. I think it will. Yeah, so we'll put the speed control on the left side here, mount up the motor. We'll probably have to pop off um, the, uh, the shock here to make that happen. Um, yeah, just checking out the overall layout. Actually, maybe I'll put in the steering servo first. Uh, so, let's see here. Yeah, maybe while the car's lighter. Um, actually, even before that, I should probably test all the electronics that we're putting in. Uh, this is the servo that we got with the car. Um, it's a it's a Tower Pro SG five hundred one zero you know just pretty generic servo that you can get for like five or ten bucks um, so you know we're we're definitely not we're, we're going on a budget here going racing on a budget um, so let me do this I'm gonna go ahead and. 
figure out a game plan here. First, I'm going to go ahead and test these electronics and make sure that they work before we go through the effort of uh, putting everything in. And I'm going to get a receiver uh, and uh, all that sort of stuff set up. So uh, thanks again for watching. Catch us in the next episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.